Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Routson. All right, so I like hashtags. I'm the beer wench on Twitter, so um, half of you don't know who I am, half of you don't care who I am. Three of you in the front row like me. <laughs> All right, so we're talking about the importance of the hashtags. I didn't realize that I was talking to people that are not in the beer industry, so everyone who likes hashtags, that's awesome. Um, by definition, we have a pound sign followed by a word or a strain of words. Essentially, it's searchable on Twitter. So that's what makes hashtags really important. Um, it's searchable. So you don't have to follow me. I don't have to follow you. You can search anything, whether or not you're following me. Yes, I'm using as many slides as possible to put my picture in it. Um, so you can just follow a search term or anything. I'll describe the categories later. Oh, categories. I have topic hashtags, event hashtags, viral hashtags, and what I call nonsensical hashtags. So these are the four categories that I put hashtags in. Yes, and they exist. So we're gonna go through the different ones. Topic ones, you guys are all familiar with these. Uh, craft beer, bacon. You can either be very general. <laughs> bacon! So you can be very broad or you can be very categorical. Niche, examples like um, Cabernet. Event hashtags, like invite Denver to write. Um, GIBF. All, all sorts of event hashtags. These help um, all of us keep in touch with what's going on at the event as well as people who are outside of the event following it. Viral hashtags, um, they create a buzz, this groundswell on Twitter. You know, this thing that people like to do, like this Greg face thing, which we've seen on the screen a, a couple of times tonight. I am not ashamed. <laughs> To admit that Greg Face is a very viral hashtag, um, it actually was started by a group of um, really enthusiastic beer fans, including myself, during a homebrew rally. And eventually Stone took it and became a marketing campaign, a very successful hashtag marketing campaign to have Greg's face on your tattoo, on your shirt, and on posters and everything like that. So. Anyway, nonsensical, which is my fourth category. A stream of words, it, <laughs> I like to put it in my mouth. I'm just saying that just happened. Uh, is, it, is it five o'clock? Things that, <laughs> all right, this is, this is my raison d'etre. This is the reason why I'm here today is because I started the hashtag IPA day. It was a hashtag started because I wanted to do a movement in the craft beer industry. And I recruited about 10 different craft breweries. Um, you'll see them all here. And a couple of different social media websites as well as all the top bloggers and the most influential people in the social media of the beer industry to help me out with launching this IPA day. Now, naturally, I had some backlash right away. People were like, why the fuck are you going to do IPA day? And I'm like, dude, seriously, like, I don't care if you brew it in your town. It's the most brewed style. Everybody knows what IPA day, or no, so everyone either brews an IPA or it's the most resonant um, craft beer style that everyone knows. So I use a little bit of black magic. I have my hat. Oh, uh, whoa. There's someone around me. I have my um, voodoo dolls with me, so I always bring my voodoo dolls with me. And so I ended up convincing my haters in Portland to propose to me um, because they hated IPA Day, and then they ended up liking it. Um, IPA Day was a movement to bring everyone together over craft beer. We started it out of seven continents. Six of them participated. Antarctica, unfortunately, didn't. I don't know why. But um, they didn't want to participate. We even had Africa, which was an awesome thing. North America, we had over 12,000 tweets of IPA Day. Um, my partner in this whole project was untapped. And over, you can see over 4,000 people checked in IPA on IPA Day. So this was just a mere hashtag that wanted to start a movement to get people to drink craft beer. Values of hashtags. Increase your visibility on Twitter. You don't have to follow people in order to follow hashtags. Obviously, message amplification, because they don't have to follow you in order for your message to be amplified. My major point of the night is just do it. <laughs> just do it. Just, just hashtag. 
put a hashtag in front of anything that you have because it's very valuable, it's searchable. Everybody loves hashtags. And here's my shameless self-promotion. If you're not following me, follow the Beer Wunch on Twitter. That's me, and this is my hashtag presentation. Hashtags are awesome.